Hello YouTubers. Now I just want to quickly talk about, just got a message from Toyu Joe, I think that's how you pronounce it, sorry if I got it wrong. And he's on about doing <coughs> back pads on a Volkswagen, the one with the push buttons. Now, just to clear something up, all the cars with push buttons, a lot of cars have them now. Volkswagens, Jags, uh, well, there's just loads of them. And they, they, they work on a motor <coughs> and unfortunately the only way to replace them is to plug them in. Now, this way becomes quite tricky because there's a few ways of doing it. You can go out and spend an absolute fortune on diagnostic machines. Uh, you don't really need to, to be honest. There is some good diagnostic machines out there that will do them. And you can get just specific diagnostic machines for specific cars. Now, you can get them very cheap on eBay. For example, like the, the, there will be one that will, will just do a Volkswagen Passat. Of a, of a certain year that could be 20 30 quid very cheap but and it is a but that will remember that will only do one pacific car and that will only wind the pistons back and wind them forward for you again if you have a problem with the system it won't diagnose it for you this is what i use as you can see that it's a es sorry ebs 301 and it's fully updatable it's brilliant and all this does is push button brakes it will do every single car with push button brakes and it will also diagnose the problem if there is a problem with the system so if your button isn't working for example this will tell you why it isn't working now these aren't particularly that expensive I can't remember what I paid for this I think this was around 200 220 euros which obviously, you know, for someone that's just doing it at the odd time, I realise that's expensive. But this little machine does do an awful, awful lot. Um, so it's it's kind of worth it if you're doing a few of them. Like I said, if you're just doing just one car, and you've just got one car, you can buy a very cheap one on eBay. Now, as regards to doing it, as soon as you plug the machine in, it comes up on this one, like what car do you pick, and you pick Volkswagen, then you pick, say, Passat, then you pick the year, and then you just press wind back, and you just press the button, and you hear this noise, and it winds the pistons back. Then you change the pads like you would any normal car, take the piston off, push, push the caliper back, put the new pistons on, so you put the new uh, pads in, put the piston back on, then tell the computer, which is very important, you have to tell the computer to, to wind them forward again. And you hear this noise and it winds them forward. Um, so it's, it's simple once you've got the machine to tell it to wind it forwards and backwards. But make sure you're not, when you take the caliper out, don't press the wind forward button because the, the, the pistons will just wind straight out of the calipers. Then you need new new calipers and they calipers aren't cheap. So it is really simple once you've got a little gadget. You can buy, like I said, kind of one like this or you can buy a really cheap one. To be fair, the cheap ones are, for what they are, but they're very good. Uh, hope this helps, thumbs up the video, subscribe and don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.